Hi, I'm Chris Hansen, CEO and Managing Director of Greenstone Resources, and welcome to part one of a three-part series stepping through Greenstone's portfolio of base and battery metal projects. Part one today will be focusing on our flagship Burbank's Gold project, with part two being our Mount Thirsty Battery Metals project, and part three being our Phillips Fine Gold project. Before stepping through the Burbank's Gold project, I think it's important to provide some context in respect of what differentiates Greenstone Resources and also provide a broader overview of our portfolio. So why is Greenstone special when on the ASX there are 755 ASX listed mining companies, of which 175 are gold explorers or gold developers, but only 11 have undeveloped high grade resources greater than 250,000 ounces and only one is located in the epicentre of the Australian gold fields, and that is our flagship Burbanks Gold Project. This is why Greenstone is special. Burbanks is located in the epicentre of the West Australian gold mining industry. Surrounded by major and mid-tier miners and supported by a network of existing infrastructure, Drilling is currently underway with an updated resource expected in the next three to four weeks, leveraging off the 10,000 metre drill campaign, which we completed just last week. Importantly, less than 30% of the Burbank's mineralised system is tested down to a depth of 500 metres or less. Greenstone also holds a portfolio of regional gold assets and a 50% share in a large battery metals project for which a scoping study and an IP, and IPO discussions are currently underway. All of Greenstone's projects are located in the goldfield regions of WA. Our flagship Burbanks asset is located just a short 30 minute drive from Kalgoorlie. Historically, Burbanks has produced 421,000 ounces at an astounding 10.9 grams per tonne. Importantly, the vast majority of this production was from the upper 140 metres and up until about 18 months ago, nobody had drilled a drill hole beneath 250 metres. Burbanks has a current resource of 278,000 ounces, and with the 10,000 metre phase one drill campaign completed last week, an updated resource is expected imminently. Phillips Find is a second gold asset in our portfolio, and is a short drive just northwest of Coolgardie, and like Burbanks, has a history of shallow high grade production that remains underexplored at depth. Historically, Phillips Fine has produced 33,000 ounces from three shallow open pit operations to a maximum depth of 75 metres below surface. We are currently drilling at Phillips Fine, testing down dip extensions beneath these three historic open pits and a number of other regional targets. Now moving away from our gold portfolio and not to complicate the story too much, Greenstone also holds a 50% share in an emerging battery metals project called Mount Thirsty. The Mount Thirsty project is located just north of Norseman and hosts a large cobalt nickel manganese deposit. Mount Thirsty is uniquely positioned to potentially provide a sustainable and ethical supply of cathode precursor to the growing EV battery market, with the deposit containing all three of the necessary elements and importantly in the right ratios to produce an advanced product. Three weeks ago we announced a materially larger mineral resource here which is now underpinning an updated scoping study, which is currently underway. As an aside, I'm a firm believer that both base metals and precious metals don't belong in the same company. And as such, an ownership consolidation and IPO discussions are currently underway with our joint venture partner. What we're looking at here is a long section of the Burbank's Gold Project. From left to right across the screen is a strike horizon of around five and a half kilometers. 18 months ago when we started, all Burbanks had was a long history of very high grade open pit and underground production, totaling over 420,000 ounces at 10.9 grams per tonne, as well as a very small jolt compliant resource as shown there in the darker green colour. Over the next nine months, we then drilled over 10,000 metres and we doubled the resource to 278,000 ounces and extended the known mineralized strike horizon by a further two kilometres. However, much of the drilling was too widely spaced for us to bring into a jolt compliant resource. As such, we utilise this wide space drilling to support a jolt compliant exploration target, which can be seen in the lighter green colour. This exploration target has a range between 215 and 330,000 ounces and was the focus of our recent phase one drill campaign. A 
and is shown by the blue dashed outline. What's very important to note here is that this expiration target was very conservative and does not include any of the areas in the orange or the green. Therefore, there's a lot of upside here at Burbank's yet to be tested. Two weeks ago, we completed the 10,000 meter phase one drill campaign, highlighted in that blue area. And this drilling will form the basis of the forthcoming resource update, which is expected in the next three to four weeks. Some of the better intercepts from this recent campaign include five meters at 30.5 grams per tonne. And as you can clearly see, these are not isolated one-off drill hits. This project has a track record of adding ounces and we're only just getting started here. Phases two and phases three will serve to test the true potential of the Burbank's Gold project. Thank you for joining part one of a three-part series introducing Greenstone's broader precious metals and battery metals portfolio. As you can see, we have a lot of exciting news flow in the pipeline. With continued gold assays and drilling at the Burbank's and Phillips Fine Gold Project, the Burbank's resource update, which is expected in the next three to four weeks, and results from the cathode precursor and high pressure acid leaching studies, which will underpin the forthcoming scoping study. And finally, the Mount Thursday scoping study, which is expected sometime in July.